<laughs> Don't change your rigging. Keep your old rigging forever. <laughs> Bye, rigging. Dun -dun -dun. What do you think of it though? It's very nice. Eh? I can stand here. We're at that stage of the boat building that it's so exciting. We're nearly done. So, we've just screwed in our clutches. Ricky's just servicing our winch and we've installed the clutches. We have connected up our uh, running lights, our anchor lights, our four deck lights, um, we connected all of that so the, the lights on our mast are all done and ready to, to work one day when we go sailing. Ricky climbed up the mast to put up our anemometer and take the measurement for our four stays so that we could size up our new rigging. Got these steel uh, stainless steel plates, and what they do is they hold on to the furler, and the bottom they attach to the, uh, the anchor the chain plate by the anchor rider. So what I want to do is just polish them up and get them looking like new again. Polish that side already, so that's nice and shiny. So we'll clean up all the sides on both of them, all four of them. So what I'm doing now is just marking all the sections. He has a furler on the ground. I'm just marking all the sections so that when we put it back together, each one goes back and it lines up so I've got one one two two three three four four and so forth. We pass the reds, ignore the warnings. Ignore the warnings. I'll let you take my breath away. Pick me up like you're my aeroplane. And the game of Tetris began. You got what I need effortlessly. Let me know you want it. We coated all our bolts with Duralac. You I can breathe, air go so deep Let me know, let me know, cause I can't lie And it's done Last one connected So we put our tape where we don't want it to unravel further then We've got a cone They've got other names for this stuff So just check it up on the stay lock side And uh, so we're gonna start unraveling the outer side So there's the core, that's the core of the wire unravel. Just take a cone. So what I did is I wrapped them back all around nice and tight, as tight as I could. But what I left is, yeah, I'm gonna turn this clockwise now which will initiate these to come around. We don't wanna get any strands inside that gap over there to prevent it from, from the cone closing. We, we want that cone to tighten up to grip the inner core. Some of the local guys suggested that we get a bit of urethane adhesive sealant. Now technically we should force the whole thing together. She was all assembled and ready to be attached.
Don't be fooled by that time lapse. That was freaking difficult and my arms are jelly and um, we're all sweating and like dead. <laughs> we're dead. Ricky's laughing at me, but how, how heavy was it? I don't think it's heavy. It's bloody heavy and this time lapse made it not look as epic as it was. <laughs> but yeah, so. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't do that. Boat, don't boat, pull the boat. Don't change your rigging. Keep your old rigging forever. <laughs> don't pull the boat. We then got started on our inner four stay fast stay sail. It was time to test out our cells and make sure everything was running smoothly. So we do have a new mainsail, um, but we've decided to use the old one MPE um, because of it all, so this one can get stuff. And then before we leave, most likely to Cape Town, or when we get to Cape Town, we'll switch it over to our new main, or we'll just wait till this one tears and then put our new main in. Um, yeah, it doesn't look the greatest, but it is what it is, and we'll use it until she can no longer sell, and we'll switch it over. Very exciting day, because today... Today, we are officially going towards the final countdown. It's the final countdown! Goodbye, sail the earth! Goodbye instruments! Done! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh wow. So life raft. No money for you at the moment, but um, first aid and safety gear we're tending to that. A dinghy we need an outboard motor for it. Anti-fouling and epoxy. That's just before we go in. Name. <laughs> The engine! With all the little mannequins next to it. Some deck fittings, we'll be pulling that off soon. Soon, very soon. The water maker, 95% complete. And those cabinet, uh, those window shades are coming on Friday. And the name? You didn't even pull the name. Yeah, the name. Yeah, the name. That's yeah. coming the next week. next week. We then got started on installing our swim deck ladder. So we got our, I call it our solar panel protector, but it's a dual purpose. It's going to protect our solar panels and it's going to act as a handrail, yeah, off the back. We're going to step out of the Dodger. You know what happens when you can't find your safety shades? Just slap on a normal pair of shades and get it cut. What do you think of it though? It's very nice. Eh? I can stand here. See? And it incorporates midget mode. 
It's awesome, eh? While Marcus was welding on our bow seats and Ricky was busy washing the boat, I got down with some editing. Check it out. Marcus came and welded our seats on today, or the frame for our seats. Looks so good. Both of them are done. And we're at that stage of the boat building that it's so exciting. We're nearly done, we can smell it. Yep, I smell bankruptcy. But we're there. Let's get to work, mister. Did you like them? Yeah, they're freaking nice. Don't you like them? I do like them. So Ricky put emphasis on working in a warehouse or a shed or whatever you have available if you're doing a rebuild and I agree 100% with that. Today is freezing and the worst thing is, okay well it's not the worst thing but we have, the tasks we do have left are outside tasks so when it's cold you gotta work because time is money and ours is running out. So we need to finish this boat as soon as possible and get her in the water. So we're pushing through, even working on crappy days, like today. So if you can do it in a warehouse, do it in a warehouse. Look at that. A whopping 10 degrees Celsius. <laughs> I want to go sleep. <laughs> I want to crawl into my little bed and go sleep. We got started on our rub rail and man, what a transformation it gave. Take it off, baby, take it off. Down, down, up, down, down. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So show everyone you do have chain plates. Mm -hmm. Longer. All the chain plates are in. Oh, not chain plates. Oh, not chain plates, uh, backing cleats. plates. Cleats, backing plates in. Get everything in the back. Those mothers are in. Looking good, baby. See, some people wondered why we don't have backing plates. These are backing plates, just painted white. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share to your mates. And if you want to know more about the rigging, contact Crack Constructions. We'll leave a link down below. It'll help you out with all the things you need. You can even make the dead eyes and all the stuff that you need. And it'll ship it out to you. Thanks to the people who leave us kick-ass comments saying, you guys keep on going. You guys are doing a great job. Those comments, we appreciate tremendously. To our patrons, your guys' support means the world to us. I mean, we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for your guys' help. So we appreciate it a lot. Go click on our playlist and follow the rest of our journey. And um, if you would like to join our Patreon family or buy t shirts, there are links below which you can go click on. See you guys next week. Lots of love. <laughs> <laughs>